Gentlemen, let's start with the football kwanza, sio? Before to end into, into the thick of things, and uh, of course, let's, let's just like I mentioned, the Mozart Bet Cup final is taking place today at the Moy International uh, Stadium of Kasarani, and uh, Tasca playing against Kakamega Homeboys. Uh, let me just begin with uh, asking his favorites. Uh, let's, start, let's start with you, Kelvin. We went to Tasca, but we went to Kakamega Homeboys. Me name to Tasca. Na nime kwa niki fortelia for uh, some uh, some time. Right. And uh, e game ita kwa tight yes. Yes. Uh, I feel like the game will be so tight because the two coaches are very good. Right. They are perfect. Yes. So I think uh, personally, uh, Tasca might take this game. Yes. But they need a lot of uh, defending and attacking too. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So just 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 hold it off. Uh, Apo Kwanza. I love where you're Elvis. Where them to Tasca? Where them to Kakamega Homeboys? Right. Uh, the last time I told you, right. Uh, I'm supporting Tasca, but uh, I don't have a favorite because uh, I'm I'm a Gurmahia fan. Okay. But I think the car uh, will go to Tasca. Okay. Uh, what what are you anticipating as as yourself? Uh, uh, okay, can, can explain that. It, it, it is a, it is a tight game, of <laughs> course, generally because we after disappointment, yeah, Tasca you see, and uh, uh, with Gor Mahia, uh, of course, I was I was behind Tasca uh, as far as the Kenya Premier League is concerned. Uh, this time round, of course, uh, against Kakamega Homeboys. Remember the last season, Kakamega Homeboys did provide a big big challenge to most of the KPL teams because. Even they gave uh, Tasca a run for their money. Well, Maliza number two at the KPL. So, uh, as much as they are considered sort of underdogs in uh, this particular final match, they they still offer a lot of challenges when it comes to uh, you know uh, the attacking quality, the, def the, the the holding the ball, probably called midfield section. So uh, we are going to just dig deeper into that. But let me just put it out there that the winner for this particular finals will be uh, gaining an automatic ticket to the CAF Confederation uh, tournament. And uh, not only that, they will be walking away with 2 million Kenya shillings. And uh, number two, Pale Atakua and uh, Enda Nyumbani with 1 million Kenya shillings. When you look at um, the third place playoff that is happening between Ulinzi Stars and FC Lopards, the Ulinzi Stars uh, should, should either of the two win, uh, you know, the winner will walk away with 750,000 Kenya shillings. Then we are Muisha Uyo number four attended Nyumbani with the 250,000 Kenya shillings. Now, Tasca made uh, their way to the finals after uh, a one nil win over Olinzi Stars. And, uh, you know, and uh, Kakamega, uh, Kakamega Homeboys got a 2 1 win against uh, FC Leopards to make their way to uh, the finals. Now, in terms of uh, depth, score depth, and quality, let me start with you, Elvis. Uh, why, why do you feel like Tasca are uh, favorites? Uh, is it the defense structure? Is it the midfield structure? I mean, the experience of Onaga Kama Kawaida under, uh, working under coach Robert Matano, just like Telvin Amisema, work on experience Kama coach Amikuwa now. What, what do you anticipate from Tasca? Mm -hmm. uh, I think the experience from Tasca players are very good. Right. Uh, the defense and the midfield is very good. Uh, I they relate well with, with the players and I know uh, the last time disappointment uh, from the Gorma here it gives them opportunity and it gives them opportunity to sharpen their skills. Uh, I think the coach is very experienced and uh, he has been in the game for, for, for many years right. so I think the coach is very experienced and is good. Uh, when when Gorma here lost to when Gorma here won against Tasca right. uh, that wasn't the opportunity but the last time when Vihiga Bullet was uh, was beaten 4-0, yes. Tasca beat uh, Vihiga Bullet 4-0. Uh, that uh, I think uh, that was a motivation, and I think uh, for this Mozart bet, uh, Tasca will, will win. Uh, it's an opportunity for them right. uh, to position their, their, their self very well uh, and to score a lot of goals. Uh, for the second half. I think it will be very tight. It will be very tough. I think they should play their game in the first half, so that uh, the second half will be only defense, and it will it will boost their confidence coming to the second half. Yes. I think the last time the Higa Bullets uh, and Tasca, uh, they they were really tackling and uh, passing off the ball. Right. Uh, I I wasn't. 
I think I think Tasca Tasca going forward uh, has has a lot of confidence. Yes. And I, they think they have mastered the game. Uh, I think right now. I, I think I think uh, it, it could have been a, a ten zero for 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 <laughs> Vihiga bullets, but I think for right. now they they saved that that strength for now. Uh, the formation is four three two one, and the goalkeeper can now relax a little bit because uh, they, they won't have a lot of work. Uh, it will be very specific uh, giving their balls. Passing the ball will be very intentional. I think right. Tasca is going to this game uh, very confident. Right. Uh, and I think that losing losing a cup to Gormahia, it right. has given them a lot of pressure. And I think okay. uh, motivation is also money. The money is motivation too. Sawa, sawa. Uh, you mentioned uh, it was quite important the, the fact that while it is uh, against the Eager Bullets, uh, despite them winning 4 0, I think it was a course idea to create the title against uh, Gor Maya. Uh, but then again, um, the coach uh, Robert Matano was very vocal uh, over the week saying uh, that you know um, this is a different uh, game needs a different uh, style of uh, you know approach and uh, tactic wise and uh, you know how they're going to you know generally approach the game and, and uh, Telvin you, you mentioned that uh, you know both both coaches of course are on experience Chungumzi mm -hmm. we've seen them uh, you know participate in this cup and this is not the first time uh, so we've seen them you know of course showing their dominance generally against opponents right and unafikiria uh, task one is in in common in defense I'm in mid I'm in striking what they should be more, uh, you know, uh, apply more tactical awareness against, uh, uh, you know, a, a team like Kakamega Uh Personally, uh, I did a statistics. Right. Uh, I saw uh, both uh, Tasker and uh, Homeboys, they've played 17 games in total. Okay. And Tasker has won about 13 games. Right. Um, and Homeboys has won only three games. Right. There's only a, a draw between them. Okay. So uh, I think that their attacking is more dominant than their defense. Yes. So if they build up their defense so well, the 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 homeboys will have no chance of scoring. Okay. In the midfield, if they build themselves up so well, definitely they'll score more goals compared to homeboys. Right. So uh, I guess. This will be a tough game, yes. but um, uh, well, you are task out and alive. <laughs> Me and you are task out. How was that? Yes. But, but you know, uh, Kakamega, Kakamega are at home, at her, at her home ground. So I don't think they will accept the defeat very easily. Uh, probably it can go to a draw two two, or uh, to penalties, <laughs> or Kakamega. Kakamega, they know they know they're, they're getting they're getting into this game with right. a tough with a tough team. So right. I think the, the the defense will be very much, and they put a lot of pressure to, to to their defense, so that they don't get tired. If Kakamega homeboys uh, they don't push, then Tasca uh, will be very powerful, and right. they, they won't they won't be tired. Uh, but to give them challenge, yes. uh, I think Kakamega will put a lot of defense to. They put a lot of uh, players on defense, right? Yeah. But remember, uh, we don't know who will be who will be winning. Uh, it it might it might come as a surprise. Right. So we just have to to wait. And uh, I know Tasca is very is very strong, but uh, sometimes Kakamega Kakamega right. homeboys has a lot of experience. Right. Uh, they have they have low they have players on loan, uh, and the coach is very good. But the players are are very valuable in pushing, and they know where 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 to seal the gap. So so not to be stuck. Maybe on good luck, right. Tasca can can, can <laughs> win, uh, but I think it will be a tough game. Right. Uh, and their, their bodies are very good. They are very athletic. Yeah. Uh, they are written well. Yeah. So Kakamega Kakamega, they're really good. Yeah, it's not like other teams who are who who are who are, who are eating very uh, shallowy, no. but I think going to this game, right. it will be a tough one. Uh, I, I don't know why Kamega Homeboys fans who are, who are watching this uh, right now, uh, I'm pretty sure I could, you could not disappoint me, but we are not even showing support for these guys <laughs> because uh, you know this, anything can happen in football, and you always talk right. about that yeah. up on the nation. Anything can happen in a football, and at uh, this time, Lord, you know. 
the game being played at Moy Stadium, Kasarani, offers a neutral ground, offers uh, you know some, a new challenge for for both coaches. Now, Tusker FC, uh, this this will be uh, their fifth time actually uh, in the finals. Uh, uh, they won back in 1975, 1989. 1993 and 2016 so they have a chance to reclaim back the title and put it on um, you know on their name but on the on the other hand kakamega homeboys this is the, this is their first ever uh major title uh ticket you know in uh, you know and i know and a try and, a, and a, you know a, a short to the continental football that is uh the calf uh tournament uh tell me maybe on your on your in your own perspective yeah. uh what, what what are the key areas that maybe kaka mega home boys wanna find out kaka mu you know what one of our strength in areas gani because this being a final kufika final sila isi and that means uh, that they can also be uh, you know disappoint task and our shinde so maybe what are the areas that uh we can we can say that uh, they can go hard and just try to uh, turn that number that statistic you said you know yeah. uh, but like uh, shinda marane or e kwa yao ya tano sasa you know uh, what, what are the areas you think uh personally i think uh because they are they are very athletic they right. are built uh maybe sasa wa act on their defense more mostly okay. because uh i can say tasca they are more they are possessive with the ball mm. So waki build up defense yao fiti kama tuseme waiki formation strong right uh def okay uh attacking yao siko sure vile iko yes but uh i'd say the defense is what will save them right because tasca are very athletic too and they are once they get the ball they know where to pass and you know their coach wamefanya kazi kubwa sana right and uh waki uh homeboys waki build on the defense more e game in azenda draw sure ama washinde hapo sawa hapo sawa of course uh, both uh, both camps uh, uh you know uh, have quality players uh, elvis uh, who, who do who do, who do you think uh, you know uh, we, you know that uh, kakamega homeboys they have the likes of the youngster uh, moses shuma who we saw uh, during the international break had the arabi stars really much and alifunga uh, bao you know putting putting his name on the on the map out there but tasca tasca well players they have dominated players were defense they have dominated players pale kwa midfield ama ama you know in the striking position in your own opinion um, what what can what can really kakamega homeboys do to to maneuver the experience uh, that tasca come with uh, in this final mm, no. And you know, Tasca, uh, for many years they have been in the game, from 1976, right. uh, 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 they have won a lot of cups, but uh, Kakamega they are very new, they, are very new. Right. they don't have that much exposure. Uh -huh. uh, Tasca Tasca has been very strong for for a long time. They have been uh, on top position. In, in the last two years, Kakamega was on top right. uh, of, of the league, but Tasca was on the bottom. But now, uh, with this challenge, I think they can they can score one uh, if Kakamega is going in this game with a lot of confidence. I believe I believe they are not weak. Right. Uh, they they are coming they are coming here with, with with confidence. They have a lot of quality players. Yes. And the assist is is good. I, I think Kakamega can, can can score one. Right. Uh, but it will depend on the goal, goal keep. If uh, if the assist is poor, then I think Kakamega uh, Tasca will take it. But if the opportunity presented itself, I feel Kakamega will will score because uh, for defense. They can if they strengthen the defense more, they have a higher chance to win because their bodies they're very athletic. Their body is good. Right. Yes. If they get a, a lot of assist and how to to tackle the ball and how to to pass the ball, right. uh, I think uh, Tasca Tasca can be stuck, and uh, and and uh, I think I think number eleven to number seven if right. they swap the numbers and. Uh, and not and focus more on defense uh, i think scoring will be di very difficult to to kakamega homeboys right tasca can be stuck can, uh, 
Kakamega Homeboy can, can present a challenge. Right. Uh, so if they score if they score fast, it, it will be it will be a, a good <laughs> They have never been been, been to calf. Right. I think this will be this will be their 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 time to 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 jump into calf. Yes. So they are, they are going into this game very excited and very prepared, and they have something to prove. So if 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 they they this if they if they score fast, right. Then all of them will go back to defense to defend to defend to defend the game. Yes. So. That is that is my view about Kakamega Homeboys. Uh, the coach is experienced. He's not really that experienced, but uh, looking at how the previous game has been played, uh, it is very tactical. Uh, they have uh, goalkeeper is really good. The defense is good, but Kakamega Homeboys uh, must just increase on on on, on defense to make Tasca right. stack, right? Uh, and not to give any opportunity to to to, to Tasca. So. Uh, I, I, and I believe, and I believe it is possible for them to win this 2023 uh, okay. Mozart Now, ladies and gentlemen, a lot is at stake uh, in this particular final match. Remember, if Tusk FC don't manage to get past Kakamega Homeboy, then it will be a double, uh, you know, disappointment for them after missing out on the Kenya Premier League title, courtesy of you know Gorma here winning the title. And now Elvis is very excited about this because we're to Gormahia, but yeah, so yeah, he'll be, he'll be rooting for uh, you know. One hundred percent. Yes. So it will be a double tragedy. Or for uh, you know for 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 Tusker FC, but then again, Kaka Mega Homeboys on the other hand, you know they have a chance to you know to get a get a place in the CAF uh, uh, Confederation tournament, and uh, it would be the, because this is their first major you know uh, finals uh, title uh, you know competition. So uh, just like I said, a lot is at stake. Remember, just like I said earlier, number one, Munyana Shinda. Uh, walks away with the two million Kenyan shillings and gets an automatic qualification. Uh, you know, a direct ticket to the CAF uh, Confederations Cup. And uh, you know, the one who comes second walks away with a million Kenyan shillings. Number three, uh, the third place uh, walks away with seven fifty thousand Kenyan shillings. One and Atoka with two hundred and fifty thousand Kenyan shillings. There is no problem. Comment section. Are you team Tasca? Are you team Kakamega Homeboys? And uh, you know, whom team? Who are you really uh, rooting for? Uh, you know, a presentation, a representation rather to uh, the CAF. Uh, confederations uh, cup finals